friends, my name is Gauri and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel Gauri's 3 C's. In case you're wondering what the 3 C's in my channel name represent, they stand for my 3 interests outside of work. Cooking, cleaning and organizing and of course crafting. Join me in my journey of cooking attempts, cleaning and organizing endeavors and crafting stress busters. If that's the kind of content that's right up your alley, please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload a new video. Welcome aboard! Rajma Tacos, as the title clearly paints the picture, is that common Mexican quick eat with an Indian twist. Vegetarian tacos include refried beans or black beans to cover for the bulk that goes in, while this one uses rajma or red kidney beans. While you could totally cook rajma the Indian classical way with an onion tomato gravy and some Indian spices, I chose to take it one step further on the Mexican side of the Caesar or geographical border, should I say, to crush up the cooked rajma and flavor it with a store-bought taco seasoning to satisfy the Mexican fast food craving that seems to stem up in these days of lockdown. Let's get on with making rajma tacos. I have washed dried red kidney beans that has been soaking for nine hours now. You could cook, uh, pressure cook these this rajma. I'll use my instant pot so I can leave it unattended and get some other work done. I'll use the pressure cook setting on my instant pot to change the timer to um, 35 minutes. Even after the rajma is cooked, since I'm going to wait for the pressure to be released naturally, all in all, I don't have to come back to the rajma for another hour. You'll know that the pressure is fully released after the safety valve comes down, at which point it is safe to open the lid. I had added some salt when I cooked the rajma, so I may not need to add it later. Drain the water completely and allow it to cool for a little bit. Meanwhile, you can get the other toppings ready. Onions, tomatoes, cheese and cilantro is all I added to mine. But if you have some le lettuce on hand, chop them up finely or shred them and add them for some crunch. I have these crunchy taco shells that come in the, but they also come in the stand and stuff variety that have a flat base and a wider mouth. So those are a lot hardy in my opinion, but this will do for today. Roughly mash up the cooked beans and um, a super useful potato masher and some elbow grease is what you'll need to get this done. Then add in some taco seasoning to this. Mine's store bought, but you don't have, if you don't have it, mix up some chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, crushed red pepper flakes, dried oregano, uh, paprika, uh, ground cumin powder, salt and pepper to use as a taco mix to flavor up your beans. Take your taco shells and microwave them for a minute or place them in a toaster oven for four to five minutes until they are warm to touch. This step makes them a bit crunchier and sets the stage for them to hold up the soggy beans and toppings until they are fully consumed. Check back on your beans and if they feel a little dry, add in some hot water to get the mixture to be loose enough for you to be able to scoop and fill up the tacos. Starting to assemble the tacos, fill one with a generous helping of bean mixture and top off with lettuce if you have, some onions, tomatoes, cilantro and cheese. Quick and easy to put together, these are your perfect road trip and picnic meals since the individual pieces can be combined quickly um, and also eaten on the go. Mexican flavors are very close to Indian tastes, which probably explains why Indians migrating to or even visiting the United States quickly adopt and accept an occasional taco, quesadilla or a burrito bowl as a welcome option especially with visiting parents on a road trip here in the U.S. where Mexican fast food joints are found a dime a dozen. They seem to cater well with um, veg flexible vegetarian substitutions and everyone is willing to give in to them to get a break from the constant rounds of pizza. 
When tired and hungry after a day at the amusement park, our taste buds are a lot more accommodating and take a back seat, making way for a less spicy quick bite to seal the deal. Share your road trip meal idea, whether packed or bought, in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.